In 2010, St. Joseph and Ansonia squared off in a Class S championship game for the aged. St. Joseph's Tyler Matakevich, who would go on to win college football's greatest prizes, and Montreal Dobbs, one of the most prolific backs in Ansonia history, dueled in a game of Can You Top This? But Matakevich and St. Joseph won the title 49-28. The programs have gone on their separate ways since then, both winning more than their fair share of titles. Now, seven years later, they meet again in the most anticipated game of the year. Yeah, so I've been reading the comments on Game Time CT of all the people saying that, and uh, yeah, I've been waiting for this matchup too, so. And Sonia, the unbeaten defending champions, are led by explosive senior Markel Dobbs, who is looking to do what his older brother couldn't all those seven years ago. My brother played against him, so, you know, I'm definitely looking for revenge for him. He's sparked by a bone-crushing offensive line and a blitzing, smothering defense that plays more like an offense. You know, defensively, uh, you know, they've answered every challenge so far in their league, too, so, uh, you know, we've, we've got to try to put pressure on them. But St. Joseph has more than its share of weapons, too, including All-State receiver Jared Malazzi, Phil Passmig, and junior quarterback David Summers, a transfer who has set the FCAC aflame. I think without that quarterback, they're a top five, six team in the state um, based off the, you know, the kids around them. But I think with them right now, they're arguably you know, the number one team in the state, the way they're playing right here as we stand. They're, they're a really good passing team. We, haven't, we don't really play passing teams in the NBL, so and they pass the ball really well. They got a few great receivers. Their quarterback throws the ball really well, so you got to work on defending it. The Hogs defense, sparked by Jude Andrzejewski, has become a force late in the year. They'll attempt to do what no other team has, stop Markel Dobbs. Yeah, it'd be tremendous. I mean, he's taking on that role as the next great Ansonia back. Um, you know, I don't think we saw it coming when he was a sophomore. We thought he'd be good, but not at this level. Um, you know, I mean, he's been dominant, you know, with the ball in his hands. And he's done so many other things. Made a great play on defense the other day and special teams. Uh, you know, he affects the game many times on the field. It's good, because once I hit the hole, I see a lot of bodies on the floor, I'm like, I only got two people to beat, and most of the time, matchup, I'll take myself over anybody else. First area running back is an absolute stunning player. He's uh, really fast, he breaks those arm tackles. Uh, their quarterback is really fast too, and I just think all around that team's a pretty good team, and they got fast players, but our team, I feel, is like the same way. And Sonia is anxiously hoping quarterback Justin Lopez, injured during the postseason, returns to keep the Hogs back on their hind legs. We're going to find out, um, you know, that's the truth. I was telling someone before, you know, my dad wants to know, my wife wants to know, my assistant coaches want to know, you know, we all want to know. Um, we're hopeful that he's going to play. Um, you know, he's still yet to be cleared. You know, there's a couple guys in that situation that are banged up. Um, you know, they haven't played in a couple weeks, so we're hopeful to get everybody back, but we're going to go with whoever we got. The moment has arrived. It's FCAC versus the NBL and Sonia versus St. Joseph in the Class S championship game Saturday at Ken Strong Stadium.